winter, and outside, the faint winter light and frozen groundwater have brought life almost to a standstill. Because the ingredients for photosynthesis are in short supply, the plants lie either dead or dormant. But at West Dean, preparations for life have already begun. To kickstart the process, nutrients are released into the soil. Sarah explains. Here we're putting through garden rubbish through the shredder. It's going to make a pile of fresh compost here, and in 12 months' time we'll be able to use it on the garden beds. It's a really good growing medium. Somehow, the nutrients trapped within the dead vegetation from last year's crop need to be released. As this chili rots away, invisible to the naked eye, microscopic bacteria multiply inside its decaying body. At the same time, fungi begin to spread throughout the plant's tissues. These decomposers slowly digest the shredded plants. Valuable nutrients, which were trapped in their dead tissues, are now returned to the soil. This is fresh compost just out of the shredder and after 12 months we get this lovely soil that we're going to use in garden beds in the glass houses and places like that. As the decomposers digest the dead plants, something else seems to be taking place in the compost heap. As the dead plants are digested, energy is released in the form of heat. What we're seeing is the release of energy that was trapped months ago by the plants through photosynthesis. <laughs> <laughs> 